How you doing? What up, what up, what up? Nagabeche B. Uh, Abin Yari. Uh, Kasumai. Or Kalsumai. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's Warlaw, Mendinka, and Jola. Uh, is it recording? <laughs> Stuff just trying to get things together. Came here on the high up here, and you know, everything is settled now. We still Reality. are very happy, we're very happy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but you know, things going on, and take care of business, handling business, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, because real life set in real quick, yes, you know, especially. Uh, once you realize how the money work and everything like that, you 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 find out that that's pretty much the key to to your living, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, we've been doing a lot though. We've been doing a whole lot. That's why we haven't been, you know, posting videos and uh, going out much. You know, I know one of the first things people want to ask about is like. Like, how about Christmas? What we yeah. do for Christmas? Did yeah. we celebrate Christmas? Did we celebrate New Year's? And yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. It, it's always been about, with the holidays, it's always been about family. And so we were really, uh, for Christmas, it was just really laid back and relaxing. And we, weren't, we didn't, you know, um, make it a real thing to do. Right. Um, you know, we just relaxed with the kids and just enjoyed each other. Yeah. You know, that's that's what we did. Same thing for New for Year's. New Year. We didn't we didn't do nothing. We weren't trying to go out. Mm -hmm. We tried to stay up uh, till the time, but yeah. you know, we had our drinks and stuff like ten thirty. Yeah. <laughs> it got late, so we was like, hey, right. you know what? We gonna go to sleep. You know. You know. <laughs> but like I say, man, happy New Year. Um we gonna put out. We gonna get back to putting out consistent videos. But today, I want to wrap with y'all real quick on a decision that I'm trying to make. You know that we trying to make as far as business because my original plan coming here was like the first year I was just gonna really chill. You know, soak in the culture. You know, learn about the people food and kind of see what's going on while I do my other thing, you know, to make money. Uh, but of course, as soon as I touched down, I got involved with the people. Yeah. I've been going out to the village. We have some land already. Uh, and you know, so the business mind instantly kicked in and, and started working. Yeah. But right now, we trying to make a decision on doing a, a short stay in. So like, not an extended stay, but a short stay. <laughs> um, and with a store, coffee shop, you know, vehicle access to drivers. I already have two vehicles, you know. Uh, we're gonna get more if we decide on that. Uh, but we'll provide photo, phone number, and currency exchange services. Basically, everything uh, a newcomer or yeah. or a repack. Yeah, know, we we felt like that repacks. Um, this would definitely be something 
that they would really be interested in yeah. because when you first get here, there's a lot of things that you don't know, a lot of services that you need. Right. Um, where you want to start. Yeah, you your know? TIN number, yeah. your bank account. Yeah. Like, getting your, your, your car for your cell phone. Yeah. You know, getting the pictures Hot done spots. so you can get everything. Getting the pictures done, yeah. you know. Immigration so you can get your extended on the visa. Because now um, I have the business permit so you can get your, your alien card for your business exactly. permit. You know, all of that type of stuff. And so for our guests as well, you know, we do breakfast, lunch, and, and dinner. Uh, and like I say, vehicle access with drivers. You know, and then also there's taxis and everything around. It's in the main area, so the building is already there. It's basically it's ready. We just trying to see if this will be something that, you know, you guys would be interested in yeah. to help us make this business decision because we don't have to do it, but you know, I feel like we have to do yeah. it, basically. We so if you all would be interested in something like that if you come here yeah. and and you have that access to it. Would, yeah, would that be useful would that for you? Um uh, let's see what else. Like I said, we have land. It's huge. Uh Big Ben. Give Big Ben a shout out, mm -hmm. you know. I am Big Ben, Ben Boja. The kids are doing good. Yeah. They're enjoying themselves, relaxing. Yeah. Everybody done settled in now, yeah. man. So yeah. we have two dogs. Yes. They are getting so big. Yeah, that's gonna be oh our security. Goodness. Yeah. 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 Um uh, I guess some other things that you have any anything that you want to tell them as far as like uh, since we've been here that you realize or recognize? Um, just, you know, just the whole thing about um, not needing so much. Yeah. You you feel like when you're in America um, that you, you need all of this stuff. But you, when it's all gone or taken away or, you know, when you release it, it's just, so what 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 don't it's you have? It's just easy. But what don't you have that you had in America? Right, and and, and they and they have everything here. Yeah. Literally, they have everything here. Yeah, yeah. Like it's just it's certain stuff. Of course, it's the main stuff that everybody been talking um, about. Convenience, you yeah. know, as far as convenience. But I feel like um, I feel more empowered to do things for myself. Um, to go walk down the street to the store is nothing, and you know, you ain't walking yet though. Knowing the neighbors and things like that. <laughs> she ain't walking yet. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. But yeah, just just um just the being out in nature and just getting all this sun and just like I'm just so at peace. Yeah. You know. It's certain stuff that you you have to know once you get here, like you're gonna have to set up the person to come get your trash. They not gonna be on time, so that's a business. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> understanding the cash power. Yeah. Uh, the electric do go out, but in our area, it doesn't, it hasn't even bothered. I was gonna get solar panels, and I do have the paperwork, and I, I show a picture of, I already went and got that priced mm -hmm. out. I went and got generators priced out, all that type of stuff. But it, just, it really it, it it don't affect us like that. It's like maybe twenty minutes to an hour at most. And you're not really like sitting in your home, you know, doing nothing. It's like always something to do. So a lot of times when the lights go, I don't even notice <laughs> that they went yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> you know. And plus we got the internet where it's hooked up to a, a backup unit, so. The internet never goes off. The uh, cameras never goes off. Like so, that's hooked up. So that may be something that you guys want to yeah. take into Thank account and, and 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 do. Uh, but the service, the service here is pretty much like what we expected. Things take longer. What you have to take into account is they don't. Have, it's not pre-made food, right. and it's the food that in America. It's bad and it's pre-made for right. you. This is all Yeah, fresh. this is all fresh food. So the service, that would take time. Now, we went to get some ice cream yesterday, and that took longer than 
probably what it should, but when I feel like if the people who started the business, they're teaching the people. So all of these things are gonna take a while There's to soak in. For that. Yeah. You know, it's gonna soak in. You gotta allow time for that to soak in for the service to pick up. Yeah. You know? So come with a patient mind. Yeah. 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 And then um being in the city part of Gambia versus being in the village area is different. Um, I feel like, you know, the city part is more westernized. You got the different cultures and different type of people here. But then when you go out to the village, you you are soaking in a real culture and it really shows you what you're missing. Like they haven't been yet. I haven't taken them because you know, I want it to be a surprise once they finish clearing up the land and you know, everything like that. But uh, I've been, and I really understand and see what we've been missing, you know, especially me, like with my, with my grandmother and just being around her and how when she passed, we basically lost, it seemed like everything, you know? And, uh, but in the village, everybody's tight, close, they self-sufficient. They don't need us for real, you understand? So we shouldn't even come over here with the mindset that they need us, you know? If we feel like we are from here, we belong here, then we should want to come and just add what we know, bring our knowledge and the service and all those type of things that we can provide. We should just want to bring it here and, and help build the value of Africa, the Gambia, you know, all of that. So. I've been struggling more with my emotions because I'm actually able to think about stuff. Like, think about everything. It's because you're not getting stuff hitting at you a million miles that has nothing to do no with you. No sensory overload. Yeah. It has, things that has nothing to do with you, it's not bothering you. No. You just got to think about yourself and you basically fighting with your demons and everything like that. Um, the driving here, crazy. Yes. <laughs> It's crazy, but I haven't seen no accidents. No. And it's crazy, cause you'll be driving, it's like always two lanes, you know, this way you and this, this way. way. <laughs> but they somehow always make four lanes, yeah. you know? Yeah. So you'll be driving right here, to another car be driving yeah. on you this side. They just drive wherever driving, yeah. and park wherever. <laughs> yeah, so if you, if you walk in, you just gotta be careful. And then as far as the police and stuff. Everybody asks for something. If you, yeah. if you, you, it's your choice to give. You know, uh, when the police doing a great job, I kind of just give anyway. But like here, you know, uh, go have dinner or some drinks or something on me. Like basically, you know what I mean. But uh, they will ask. Everybody will ask. But this is a hard working country. Yeah. No matter what nobody telling y'all. Yeah. But yeah, man, we looking for. Uh, I guess like some, we need some advice, not yeah. even advice, isn't no. advice? Uh, what do you think? You yeah. know, is, do you think this is a good idea to do? Would you guys, uh, Be as interested in it. Um, coming over, newcomers coming over, would you like something like that? Right. Would that help? Right. You know, so uh, let us know, give us some feedback on that. Right. Um, we're gonna keep the videos back up. Yep, and like we said, we were looking for um, partners slash and or investors in the Gambia. So. Yeah, we prefer in the Gambia, but you know, we can talk. Uh, but we do prefer in the Gambia. Yeah. Everybody kind of doing their own thing, and you know, uh, of course, when you talk to people, some people have the same idea that you have. So if y'all want to link and work yeah. on certain things, Let's do it. If not, it's all good too. We don't. We not mad at nobody. <laughs> and uh, I mean, that's pretty much it, man. One love, blessings. Blessings. Learn some languages. Yeah. You know, step your game up. That about it, man. Yeah. This we just wanted to out. update you guys and let you know what's going on. We not ready to come back. No. No. We ain't ready. <laughs> so. Um, so we'll be talking to you and we'll see you guys later. All right, y'all. Bye. All right, later.